Let's work on question three in this video. So we have a country with the following welfare program. Now, each, uh, each person has the right to a certain benefit per month. Uh, and for every euro that he earns, the benefit is reduced with T. Now, suppose that the benefit is 600 euros and T is equal to 0 0.4. So suppose we have Betty who works for a wage of 10 euros. Now, assume that the total number of hours in a month is 720. Now, in part A, what is the break-even point of the welfare program in terms of earnings and hours worked? What's the intuition of the break-even point? Well, the idea is this. Break-even would mean that the benefit that we get from the government is offset by a certain cost. So, that benefit of 600 euros must be offset by the taxes that we pay on our earnings. And the taxes that we pay is 40%. 0 0.4 for every euro that we earn such that the effect of the benefit is gone. So let's see how that works out. This will all make sense. We have a certain level of the earnings. So a certain level of the earnings that when we are taxed 40% of it, 0 0.4, we are, we are basically giving back the benefit that we got initially. We're giving back 600 euros. So that's equal to 600 and this is what break-even means right we had the benefit but now we incur this tax cost from our earnings so that it cancels out it offsets the 600 euros that we received to begin with and that level of earnings is equal to 600 divided by 0 0.4 that level of earnings is 600 divided by 0 0.4 and if we solve the math over here that's equal to 1500 euros so if we earn 1500 euros and we pay 40% of it, we are paying back to the government 600 euros that he gave us initially. What is 1500 euros in earnings? Well, if we earn 10 euros per hour, that means that we must work 1500 euros divided by 10 euros per hour. Well, that's equal to 150 hours of work. So 150 hours of work. Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we go to part B.